Tottenham were furious with Liverpool guys, really furious. They were convinced to sign Luis Diaz. Uh, they sent a person of the club in Portugal to negotiate face by face with Porto. And so when they knew about Liverpool jumping into the negotiation, pushing with the player, offering him Champions League football guaranteed already for the season, uh, offering him a lot of money, the possibility to play with the 4 3 system that is perfect for Luis Diaz, they were really furious for how Liverpool in 24 hours decided to hijack the deal for Tottenham. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. Today, to talk together about Liverpool. Their strategy, in my opinion, one of the best clubs in the world in the transfer market of January. You would say they only signed Luis Diaz, yes, but in my personal opinion, the strategy was perfect. The strategy was really incredible. And so, congrats to Liverpool, but let's jump into some insights of this January window for the Reds. And so guys, as I said, the strategy was amazing from Liverpool because they only signed Luis Diaz, but they have been really perfect. They needed a player in that position for the summer, but then they had the opportunity to sign Luis Diaz immediately. Liverpool's strategy was a bit different for January transfer window, from what I'm told. Uh, they were not planning to sign any player in January, so they were really relaxed, planning for the future, working on contracts with Mo Salah as priority. The contract of Mo Salah, the contract of Sadio Mane, both players out of contract in June 2023. But then what happened? When Tottenham made a proposal for Luis Diaz, 35 million euros plus add-ons to Porto, Liverpool decided to jump into it. Why? Because Luis Diaz was top of the list for Liverpool for a summer transfer window. Uh, they were already planning to make a proposal for, um, for Luis Diaz, so they were preparing uh, their attack to sign Luis Diaz from Porto. But then Tottenham were trying to send a player immediately in January. And so Liverpool, in 24 hours, they've been very smart, very fast to make a new bid, uh, to make a bid around 40 million euros plus 20 million euros add-ons and to sign Luis Diaz from Porto. So they've been really perfect. Also, who is the man behind this story? Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool manager, because Klopp had a direct contact with the head of scouting of Liverpool, with part of the board, and they decided together to spend money immediately on Luis Diaz. Klopp was very clear with the board, we need to sign this player, we can't lose him, because in the summer it will be complicated to find a winger at the level of Luis Diaz with the price of Luis Diaz, so let's jump into it immediately. Tottenham were furious. With Liverpool guys, really furious. They were convinced to sign Luis Diaz. Uh, they sent a person of the club in Portugal to negotiate face by face with Porto. And so when they knew about Liverpool jumping into the negotiation, pushing with the player, offering him Champions League football guaranteed already for the season, uh, offering him a lot of money, the possibility to play with the 4 3 system that is perfect for Luis Diaz, they were really furious for how Liverpool in 24 hours decided to hijack the deal for Tottenham. So the situation was very tense between Liverpool and Tottenham, but Jurgen Klopp was the man. He wanted Luis Diaz, he was pushing. He had a call, a direct call with Luis Diaz, who was in South America, to push him and to join uh, Liverpool immediately. So Jurgen Klopp was key in this negotiation and he was at the centre of the strategy. Liverpool wanted to back him, to support him and to trust his ideas, signing Luis Diaz. Not only about Luis Diaz, guys, because Liverpool on deadline day were really one step away from signing Fabio Carvalho. The deal was completed between two clubs, agreed on verbal basis. The player was in Liverpool to have a medical. Everything was completed on player side. So their only problem was about signing the contract before the deadline. Liverpool were not able to do it together with Fulham also because they would have loaned again the player to Fulham till the end of the season. So they were needing a long agreement with Fulham to sign. And this is why they were not able to do it before uh, the midnight, the European midnight uh, before the deadline day was completed. And this is why the deal collapsed. But Liverpool are still confident of that one. Why? Because of Jurgen Klopp. Klopp wants Fabio Carvalho. He's doing incredible in championship with Fulham, doing very well. Jurgen Klopp is convinced that this boy could be a really interesting one for Liverpool in the future. And this is why Liverpool will be again in conversation with player, with his agent and with Fulham to find a solution in the coming weeks and to sign Fabio Carvalho as a free agent in the summer because he's out of contract with Fulham but giving them a compensation that they deserved because they had an agreement in place for 9-10 million euros for Fabio Carvalho to join immediately Reds and then loan uh, till the end of the season to Fulham, but then now they will discuss again for Fabio Carvalho with Jurgen Klopp, who wanted Luis Diaz and who wants Fabio Carvalho as part of the future plans for Liverpool. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Liverpool strategy, on this Liverpool plans. I wait for your comments here. As always, I'm reading you. So guys, send in your ideas. Uh, and as always, remember to subscribe to my channel, to turn on the notification bell, like this video, and see you every single day with news and updates on the transfer market, on football, and many other things together with me. Fabrizio Lombardo. Ciao!